invisible noodles. Ew, it makes it look gray. Oh, that alien food. Nom, 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 nom. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly. Welcome back into the channel. Today we're going to be playing another episode of Mass Effect 2. In the last episode, we went and found the Archangel, who turned out to be Garrus, which was absolutely mind-blowing and also very exciting. We ended the episode with him possibly not making it, but then he made it. He was fine. So he's actually going to be a part of our squad for now, which is very exciting. I think today my main focus is to try to find some resources. So I might cut a few parts out. I just feel like the resource grind is a little bit tedious in this game. So if I kind of like skip in and out and I have more resources than I did before, you guys know what happened. That is my main objective for today is to go out, find some more materials so that we can get some upgrades started and to go on our very first mission. So I'm undecided on what I want to do yet. I'm just going to take a look at the journal today when I hop in and see where it takes us. So without further ado, let's go. Looks like for our side quests, um, oh, we do have the one for the data pad. Okay, so we're definitely gonna go retrieve the, give this data pad back to Aria. It had some juicy information on it that some of the groups were planning to overthrow Aria. So we need to go give that to her and tell her what's been going on in her space, her area. What's this one? N7 lost operative. A, lo a lost Cerberus operative is believed to be held in an eclipse space on planet Loric. Oh yeah, we got a message from this. Um, and it's apparently kind of close to Omega. Omega Nebula father system. The operative may have sensitive data that if lost to the eclipse could cause irreparable damage to Cerberus. That sounds very important. So first things first, I am going to go get this data pad recovery, um, but I kind of want to do like a main quest today. So since we're kind of in the area, we want to do some resource grinding in and around this place. I think that we will probably turn in the data pad and then go do the N7 lost operative because it just seems like it fits what we're doing right now. I don't want to get started in one of the side quests for these guys just yet. I also don't want to complete a main mission without picking up two of our other dossier members. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and work on these two today and then we'll see where we're at after that. So let's head out. No messages for you, Commander. Oh, wow. That actually was accurate. <laughs> Normally, she's like, you have messages and we don't have anything. Um, all right. So let's dock back at Omega so that we can go give Arya this incriminating data. Eating some ramen. <laughs> Okay, so we're literally just here to give like some incriminating data. I'm just gonna take Zaid um, because he does have a background here in and around this area. And um, I don't think that we should take Garrus with us since he is a wanted man around these parts, like very much wanted. So we're just gonna head um, back in with Miranda. Nice, we have squad points. I was wondering what, how many we had. I was going to wait until I was on screen again to show you guys. So I think I'm going to go with operative. Um, I'm going to go with operative three. From then, I'm probably going to do either tactical cloak or... What do we need to start getting incinerate? Mm, we can actually get it now. For AI hacking, what do we need? Incinerate rank two. All right, let's start working on incinerate. I think incinerate is a really good perk to have. Um, explosive plasma, yeah. So that would be good to bump some stuff into.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna work on like getting tactical cloak and incinerate up just so that I can also get AI hacking. Cryo is also really good. I loved Cryo when I was in Mass Effect 1. Um, okay. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Interesting. They think he's dead. Okay. I guess Come that's on, the best in. thing for him. Ari's expecting me. Oh, oh Before we leave, we should also find the Batarian. Um, <laughs> what are they called? Bartender? Batarian bartender? was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. I'd say so. Thanks. I'll come back later. You do that. All right. So we leveled up again. We got some experience for that. Okay. I was expecting a little bit more out of that, but okay. So let's go down to the lower level. I think that's where one of the other bartenders is supposed to be. see anyone over here serving drinks maybe further down we also should probably go back to the stores before we leave here forever oh we're like in the lower part now this must be the dude weird. <gasps> oh my god, he poisoned us! Shepard, are you alright? What happened? What's going on here? You ought to be alright. Just take her easy. Wait, did he Looks drug like us? You broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. What? So I was poisoned. Afterlife hates humans? Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife. It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. Wow. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. Oh, no. That bartender will pay. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you, that's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. <laughs> what are we going to do, though? Confront the bartender? How the heck did that even... What, did they drag me down here? How do I get back to where I was? He tried to murder me. I don't know where I am right now. Okay, this is the VIP area. What, am I allowed up here now? Wow, oh, people getting down up here. Oh, here's the dude. 
Yeah, look who it is. Do I know you? No, no. Humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. Incite the crowd? <gasps> Make him drink it? What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the porch. Oh, dang. Not taking any chances. Thanks for sticking up for me, buddy. Holy moly. Yeah, he definitely did. No one else is like reacting. <laughs> Someone just got shot behind the bar and no one's doing anything. That was crazy. All right, let's get off this crazy area. I want to stop at the markets real quick before we actually leave though. Okay, it's over this way. Oh, it's so creepy back here. Heavy weapon ammo, semi-automatic rifle, Ooh, plasma shotgun, shotgun damage. I don't know if we have anyone that actually runs a shotgun though. Um, let's do heavy weapon this ammo. This should come in handy. Holy crap! Why was that so loud? Holy moly! I don't know. I kind of want to get this Geth Plasma shotgun, but I don't know if it's better or not. I wish that it would tell you, like, what the stats were because I am very confused on if it's, like, better or not, but I'm guessing it is. It says upgrade the Avenger Assault Rifle. So let's go ahead and buy this one. And... I don't know who uses a shotgun. I don't think anyone that I work closely with uses a shotgun. But if we do find someone that uses one, I'll, I'll come back and buy it from here. The end is nigh. All right, let's look. This is just armor. Um, a hack module doubles the time limit for hack. Eh, I don't really think that's like too important. Maybe once they get harder, maybe, but I don't really think that's too important. What's this one? There's a lot of lore on this item. Singularity projector. So is it a heavy weapon? I think it's like a heavy one. Created a weapon that could elevate target particles of matter to near infinite mass, creating a gravitational singularity and drawing nearby objects inward for a short time. The rapidly increasing gravity rips the target apart as it pulls the enemy closer to the singularity's center. When the mass effect field destabilizes and suddenly returns to normal, the result is explosive. It inflicts additional trauma on the enemy. Well, it's 5,000 creds. I guess I'll go ahead and try it out. Okay. And then here's the Omega Market. Um, increased storm speed. Ooh, sniper rifle damage. We should definitely get this one. It's really expensive. It's pretty much all of our money. But I think it's worth it. Reduces the delay before shields start regenerating by 10%. We already have a helmet that's like that. Don't think we have these, though. Okay. Ew. Food. 
All right, I think that was all of the stores, which is good because we have no more money. <laughs> oh, here's the VIP section. Okay, so we're still not allowed up here. What do you want? Mm, let me in. I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. Okay. I wonder if we're ever allowed up there. Maybe once we get on Arya's like good side and she trusts us. All right. So we're ready to get back onto the Normandy. So we gave Arya her things. I'm gonna go re like adjust our upgrades and see if I can throw any more stuff into any of them, which I doubt we can. Yeah. Okay. Morden built his own Omni tool and can make significant upgrades given the proper materials. Let's go. And the Inferno armor. Negotiation bonus? Hmm. Okay. Let me go look at our guns real quick. Hand cannon, missile launcher. I kind of want to try this. Blackstorm Singularity Projector just to see what it does. Um, all right. And I'll probably take Miranda with me again. And I don't know who else. We could take Man... Um, uh, I was about to say Mantis. We're about we could take Mar uh, Garrus with us. All right. He can use that assault rifle. Okay. So I think I'm going to go and do that one mission that's kind of near us. So let's leave here. There's a fuel depot right here, which is good. Um, and here's the father system, but I want to go check this planet real quick. See what we can find here. Erdok is a close orbiting brown dwarf. Most red brown dwarf binary systems have an average separation of 8 AU. The Sahara Baric system is about 12 billion years old, and it has long since used up the deut uh, deuterium. Is that how you say that? Deuterium? Uh, used to fuel fusion. So Erdok is not luminous like some brown dwarfs are. Erdok is a class L brown dwarf with a relatively low temperature of 1300 degrees Celsius. Low? But its heat and gravity have made it unpopular for development. There are rumors that the heads of several Omega's crime syndicates maintain private residence on various moons. Whatever the truth of the matter, battles between syndicate vessels are often observed around the ring plane. News outlets on Omega maintain satellites at Erdok's Lagrange points for real-time coverage of these battles, which garner high viewer ratings. All right, so we're gonna scan this. Launching probe. All right, I think this one is pretty much done. Let's go back to the fuel depot. to buy some probes and then go check out this planet over here. Amorkan, a standard methane ammonia gas giant. Amorkan is the main source of helium-3 fuel for ships coming to or from Omega. Most of its fueling stations are run by criminal cartels who engage in cutthroat, sometimes literally, pricing wars. And Morgan is also widely known for its layover stations, where pirates in a hurry can find fuel, ammunition, intoxicants, gambling, and sexual companionship at any hour. What a place. All right, there's moderate resources here. Ooh, nice platinum. Broke away. Are there any other random moons or planets over here to discover? This 
doesn't look like it. Nothing out here hiding. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna go buy some more probes and then let's see. What's this? Oh, it's a little tiny little thing. Bender. If it were closer to Sara Barak, Bender would have an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. In the deep cold of the outer solar system, however, both elements have long since frozen to the ground. Ooh, it's rich. So, let's see what we can do with all of our resources now. definitely do some ship enhancements heavy ship armor let's go nice okay that's a really good thing to to upgrade um we can also do the cannons so all we need now for ship enhancements i heard that med bay upgrade really isn't that big of a deal um and kind of a waste of resources so I agree with you guys. I don't think that medbay upgrade is necessary. I kind of like our scars. It reminds me of what we've been through and how we got here. And every time that I look at Shepard and I see her glowing scar, I just think about everything that we've been through so far. And I don't really want to like heal them up. I know if you get 100% Paragon, um, it will heal your scars too, which I don't know if we're headed there. We've been making some some interesting reactions lately. But there's also the advanced mineral scanner, which will be really nice to have. Speed up uh, planet scanning process. Nice. So we just need a little bit more iridium for that. What else can we unlock now? A new shotgun. Okay. No weapon upgrades. What do we need for this rifle is this the three round burst increase damage by 50 percent improve sniper rifles for the entire squad we need platinum for this i might actually go back to that one planet how much more do we need not much i think we should definitely be able to get it out the other one it was like 1500 okay i think that's it All right, I'm gonna scan that one planet a little bit more. No messages for you, Commander. And see, yeah, this one, Bender. Because there was a few spots that I didn't take because it was so rich in platinum. That was a really good planet though like it got us so many upgrades just scanning those two what do we do two or three planets not bad um this weapon upgrade is the most important wait why can't i do this one requires one more sniper rifle damage ah uh, okay all right i didn't read the fine print trauma module unity heals your squad to full health Wow, that sounds really nice to have. Okay, let's do that one. Any other ones that we can do? I think that was it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, I'm gonna no, go ahead and go to the... I keep wanting to say father system. I don't know if that's actually how it's pronounced. It's like father or something. Um, but up over here. So yeah, I'm going to go over here and see what's going on over here. So it's just a bunch of unexplored planets here. Um, I want to look at my journal again real quick to see what it said, because I'm forgetting. 
A lost Cerberus operative is believed to be held in an eclipse space on planet Loric, the father system Omega Nebula. This operative may have sensitive data that if lost to the eclipse could cause irreparable damage to Cerberus. Sounds really bad. <laughs> hey, we have something in our codex. Asar, this following the battle of the Citadel, Human and Turian volunteers conducted a massive three-month recovery effort to clear the station's orbit of debris. Secretly, the Turian Office of Technological Reconnaissance volunteers were technology recovery specialists, salvaging the main weapon of the Geth flagship Sovereign and large amounts of its valuable Element Zero core. Contrary to popular belief, Sovereign's main gun was not a directed energy weapon. Rather, its massive Element Zero core powered an electromagnetic field suspending a liquid iron-uranium tungsten alloy that shaped into armor-piercing projectiles when fired. The jet of molten metal, accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light, destroys targets by impact force and irresistible heat. Only 11 months after the battle, the Turians produced the Thanix, their own miniaturized version of Sovereign's gun. Thanix can fire reliably every 15 seconds, rivaling a cruiser's firepower, but mountable on a fighter or frigate. Dang. So, a really chonky weapon. Um, we also have two points. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick them into incinery. Um, just so that we can get AI hacking online. Yeah, because now we can go ahead and put some stuff into this one as well. I do need to save up four points for this last one. Evolves infiltrator mastery into one of the following options, assassin or agent. What? Assassin further increases weapon damage and focus while in sniper zoom and gives a damage bonus to powers. Agent further reduces power recharging time while increasing power duration. Also further increases paragon and renegade scores. Oh, which one would I do? I feel like I would go with Agent just because of the Paragon and Renegade scores. But Assassin sounds so good. It sounds like it has everything that I would really want. Weapon damage, damage, damage bonus to powers. Mm. We'll decide when we have to get there. Okay. So we just have to find this planet that it's talking about. Anomaly. Oh, Loric. Okay, the very first one that we've been to. Okay. So hang on. I'm going to just search these planets real quick for some resources, and then we will go ahead and go to Loric. Farrar is a small, lifeless rock blessed with significant deposits of thorium, used in radiation shielding and the manufacture of space frame alloys. A small population of miners ek out an existence on the surface, selling their ore at Loric and praying that the intermittent raids by the Terminus pirate clans will pass their homestead. Aw, what a terrible way to live. There have been no children born on Koror since the infamous pirate raid of 2047. When every child on the planet was rounded up and taken as a slave? Oh my god, that's horrible. Any couple finding itself pregnant preemptively moves off world. Oh, that's terrible. Probe launched. All right, so Korar. Um, there's also this one. I'm just going to scan it a little bit because we're running out of probes and I'm also running out of money. <laughs> so we need to do some questing here. Hopefully we get paid well for this job. The surface of Dorgal is an ethane soaked mush. The planet hovers near the boiling point of the hydrocarbon and supports a diverse, if simple and slow moving carbon based ecology. The planet's gravity is strong enough to retain an atmosphere of molecular nitrogen and carbon monoxide. But the methane that dominates billions of years ago has been, has long since been lost. Of course, this area is rich. Probe launched. I'm just gonna do like until we get down to like five probes, probably. Probe launched. Okay. Oops. 
So now let's go land in this area of, oops, I didn't mean to do that, of Lorik. Anomaly detected. Lorik is an extremely rare example of a habitable world circling a red dwarf star. Originally an independent Asari colony named Essen, it was annexed by the Batarian Hegemony in 1913, causing a minor galactic incident. Despite several attempts, the local Terminus, the Warlords, have never been able to take Lorik for themselves. It's a low-density world composed of rock, light metals, and water-based crust. It is tidally locked to Fadar, with a sunward hot pole and shadowed cold pole. Water on the sunward side evaporates quickly, traveling over the islands of the habitable Terminator Zone in the form of massive, fast-moving thunderstorms, and finally settling as snow on the frozen dark side. There are fears that the buildup of the ice cap mass on the far side may cause axial reorientation over the course of several million years, but Batarian officials dismiss the idea as an irresponsible theory disseminated by counter homogeneous sub, uh, subverses. Subversives. It's crazy. Maybe you should take their concern seriously. <laughs> Hearing some stuff. Probe launched. I only have four probes, so I have to be careful. General distress. Beacon auto process interrupted at parse point. Probe launched. Something on our sensors. Okay, signal scan detects a transmitter matching Cerberus encryption. It is registered to an unknown deep cover operative. Cerberus operative life signs unconfirmed. Other transmissions that match known eclipse coded communications also detected. Okay. So I think I'm gonna take Miranda. Um, and Garrus with me on this first one because Miranda is someone that I think that I'm starting to like more, especially more than Jacob. Um, I don't really know much about these guys, but it kind of irks me that I can't get to know them more. So I'm probably not going to take them with me as much. I will go and talk to them after missions and hang out, hang out with them. I will do their side missions, but... As far as taking them with me, I kind of feel like it's silly to take them with me because I can't have deeper conversations with them and that's something that I love about this game. So I think that Miranda and Garrus and um, I also I also do want to take him with us too. Actually, I think we might take Morden. Let's let Garrus rest. He should, he's gonna rest and we're gonna take Miranda and Morden. <laughs> okay, final answer. Final answer. It was so easy in Mass Effect 1 because I was like, I'm going to take Rex and Tally, Rex and Tally. And now it's like, I don't know who half these people are. I want to get like the most out of the storyline. I don't know what to pick. Well, it's no Mako. So do we not get to drive like ground vehicles at all in this game? That's so silly. I missed the Mako already. It's pretty here. Recover Let's stolen data. Oh. Oops. Just the thing to have. That was intense. Time to die. Oh. Ah. Excellent. Oh. Now let's finish you off. Out of ammo almost. Okay. Let me go around this way and see if I can pick up some ammo along the way. 
Looks like everyone's down, though. Okay. Holding cell access. I don't know what that means. Holding cell access. Okay. What's this? Interrogator CPL Giro. Cerberus agent Tyrone Rawlings. Eclipse targeted Agent Rawlings some time ago. We know Rawlings is connected to the encrypted data we acquired. The data could conclusively prove Cerberus' involvement in Rachni experiments. We believe Rawlings possesses a cipher that can be used to decrypt the data. Without a cipher, the data could take years for Eclipse to decode. We need to get that cipher and that data. Agent Rawlings proved difficult to capture, having insinuated himself on a ship bound for the Attican Traverse. He had won over the loyalty of the ship's crew who believed him to be a human dignitary on a mission of discovery. Our own agents managed to disable the ship and hobble its defenses long enough to extract Agent Rawlings. We lost a lot of men to obtain this asset. This data had better be worth the expense. The interrogation has failed. Despite some of our most advanced interrogation techniques, Agent Rawlings managed to evade our questions. When we applied more invasive methods, he proved resistant to those as well. Who is this guy? Eventually, Agent Rawlings resisted caused resistance caused tempers to flare. We considered it unfortunate that Agent Rawlings did not live to pass on the cipher. They killed him? We have men working to decipher the encryption now. As long as we control this data, it is mere existence remains a powerful tool against Cerberus. Idiots. Oh my god. Neutralized. Why can't I aim? Medic, is everyone okay? This burn nice right behind you. Simple enough. What? That definitely should have killed him. Right, let me go try to find some more ammo. I think everyone's down now. There was a door over this way, no? Let me go explore this first. There's so much going on in here. All right, there's some like meds and a safe in here. Okay. Nice, some money. Okay, we can't go in those doors. So this is our this is the way. Okay. I'm just looking on the ground for ammo. Not much dropped. We can go straight. Oh, look, there's all the ammo. <laughs> um, we can also go this way, which I don't know what this could even be. Oh, look, it's platinum. Okay, so we can't go any further this way. Okay. Nothing else over there. All right. here <gasps> this poor guy oh my gosh oh oh this poor guy this computer contains the encrypted intelligence 
extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Wow, this is interesting. Recover data for yourself. Upload data to the Alliance, throw them under the bus. Oh no, I don't know what to do. I don't want to give it to the Alliance because this Cerberus has done so much for us and it would really be suck to throw them under the bus like that. I kind of want to know what the data is though. I'm just going to upload it to Cerberus. Data uploaded to do the Cerberus right thing. <laughs> do the right thing. That was a quick little mission. Cerberus operative Tyrone Rawlings. Oh my god, it's so loud. Cerberus operative Tyrone Rawlings was found dead. Encrypted data transmitted to Cerberus for decryption. What a crazy guy. He was able to withstand all of that torture. Oh, and he died for the cause too. Kind of crazy. I hope there wasn't anything else to look at in that room because I didn't realize it was going to yeet us out immediately after. Interesting. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. Let's see what it says. Lost operative. We received the data you found on the Eclipse base. While the death of operator Tyrone Rawlings was regrettable, he died to keep this information out of the hands of those who would do harm to Cerberus. By retrieving this data, you have ensured that his death was not in vain. While the subject of the data is known, the contents of the intel are not. We are decrypting the data to find out the nature of the erroneous information being spread about Cerberus. Thank you. Thanks to you, we can safeguard our already fragile reputation. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's from the consort. I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion, but my contacts tell me you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head towards an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was, te was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. I'm happy to hear from her, but what is this ominous message? Wow. Nala Butler? Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part. And it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work that he did on Garrus' squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. I'd give anything to have him back. But whatever happened there wasn't Garrus' fault. Here is Commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him that I sent this to you. Thank you, Nala Butler. He does beat himself up really hard about that. When we talked to him, I got that. Okay, let's go feed our fish before they die and maybe talk to Miranda about what just happened. See if she has anything to add and then we can go on another mission. I also think I bought some pants that we can upgrade. Was it the life support webbing? No, it was these. Increased storm speed. I think for now I'm gonna do the health one. I think the health one is probably the better one for now. Increases spare ammo capacity by 10%. Yeah, we definitely should have that on. Maybe we had something else, but I guess not. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm gonna go talk to Miranda real quick and see if she has anything to add about the last mission that we just did with the intel from Cerberus. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Kinda I'll figured. let you work. Of course, Commander. I kind of figured. All right, so. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. <laughs> Glad our ingredients are working out well for these people. <laughs> um, so let me take a look. Let me see what we can get into. We could go do this Overlord one. Um, a Cerberus station on the planet Ait has gone off the grid. The elusive man has requested assistance investigating the situation. All right. Don't know where to go from here. Maybe like to the mass relay. Omega, Mass Relay, Amada, Batala. Was it Amada? Oh God, I can't remember now. Cerberus Station on Planet Ai, Typhon System, Phoenix Massing. Typhon System, Phoenix Massing. I have no idea. Maybe we need to go to a mass relay. The Omega-4 relay is surrounded by ha uh, hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass freely back and forth are mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return. Some say there's a black hole at the far end. Some believe there's some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collector captures are destroying those that pass through the relay. Well, I don't think that we should go through the Omega-4 relay. I think that sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna go to the Phoenix Massing. Investigate Project Overlord. I guess that's the one that it's called. Okay. Okay, so here's Typhon. That's where we're headed, right? Ishashara, Isha, Ishashara, a gas giant is composed mostly of hydrogen and nitrogen. Its orbit is re in recent years has taken it close to the mass relay in the system, making it a popular stop for scoop ships to refuel the hydrogen in their thrusters before mooning on. Interesting. Oh, it's poor. Pahur. By normal standards, a large rock planet, Pahur, fiery, is constantly scorched by the white, bright giants in orbit. A dense atmosphere featuring hydrogen, helium, and clouds of vaporized magnesium float over its iron-rich core, making for a truly hellish landscape. Its spectacular temperature prevents any practical exploration. Launching probe. All right, so I scanned some more planets. I'm just gonna see if we can pump some more resources in because we're kind of full on platinum, which is good. Let's just take a look and see. Emergency shielding. Unity restores squad member shields to full. Wow, that's like all of our platinum. 
That one uses iridium. This one might come in handy. Advanced mineral scanner. Cerberus assault armor. Inferno armor. I don't know if these armors are actually worth it. Um, cause they hide our face and I really don't want to like be stuck in an armor where, I mean, even if it looks really cool, like this Cerberus one actually isn't very bad looking. It's pretty cool. So is the Inferno one. It kind of reminds me of, um, Iron Man, but I don't know if it's worth it. What do you guys think? Should I be working on getting like a full armor set or just doing what I'm doing now and kind of getting the visor, getting the, the pants and the core and kind of like mix matching the way that I want to. I'm not really, I'm not really sure because this is like only plus 10% storm speed. Like for, as an example, if I was to put this on, I would be losing out on a lot of my health bonuses just for this, these like three perks versus having like possibly five because like helmet, arms, chest, legs. Okay, so maybe four. I just don't feel like it's worth it. I could be wrong though. I would love to hear you all's opinions about armor in this game and what you think I should be doing. I just don't think it's worth it to get a whole set. All right, we're slowly moving up. We need more assault rifle damage and more sniper, sniper rifle damage in order to upgrade even more. Maybe if we go back to the Citadel, we'd be able to find some more. And we need element zero for the tech duration. Okay. And I don't think med bay upgrade is like that big of a deal. Um, yeah. Requires one more heavy skin weave upgrade to unlock. Okay. new heavy weapon and another new heavy weapon and those are iridium okay so if we do look for resources now we should just be looking for iridium mainly but i'm gonna take a break on resource searching for a bit um until we get some more actual upgrades okay so we're headed to typhon Investigate, yeah, this one, Typhon. And there's Ait. Ait is an Earth-like world with a variety of habitable landing land ranging from deserts to jungles to tundra. It also possesses faint rings, an unusual feature for a non-giant planet. The rings contain rocks up to a meter in length and wide dust cloud that stretches nearly 2,300 kilometers from the center of the planet. This impressive celestial phenomenon, however, is dwarfed by the fact that Ait's largest moon, Lite, is an unstable orbit and is predicted to impact the planet within the next two centuries. Knowing that any Aetian, Aetian, Aetian venture is living on borrowed time, colonial population and investment has been orders of magnitude less than other garden worlds. That's got to be a crazy way to live. Knowing that in two centuries, everything that you have is no long is going to be no longer, especially with a population of 15, 15 million or 1.5 million. I know math. <laughs> very interesting all right so we're gonna take morden um i think we're just doing like more cerberus stuff like something happened with cerberus um so let's take morden and miranda for now the elusive man wants us to look in on something going on down here Fancy. That's not the same ship that we took last time. My name is Dr. Gavin Archer. The situation is urgent. We're facing a catastrophic VI breakout. I'll explain the details later, but you must retract that transmission dish. 
VI breakout. Okay. VI breakout. Can we get into this room? Probably not. It doesn't look like it. Nope. up there these Over poor here. people oh is that him uh, there you are i've locked myself in a computer room on the far side of the base there are gaps on the loose a rogue vi program has seized control and i've lost a lot of friends today i'd hate to see you join them please watch yourself be advised this is a secure facility must be declared upon entry and checked with security personnel on duty. Seems bad. This is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon entry and checked with security personnel on duty. death in here. Door secured from the inside. Okay. Well, there's some way to get in there. Maybe the other way? This place is huge. Memo to all project personnel. I understand there's some concern about handling life, Keth. I agree it's a risk, but the potential reward is far greater. Someday your sons and daughters will thank you. So they were doing experimentations on the Geth. Uh, that seemed bad. Take the tram to the transmission dish. Okay. No way in that way. All right, guess we gotta go this way. This is crazy. He's mad. He's real mad. <laughs> I can't even hear what he's saying. All right, we came in from this way, right? There's a data pad laying on the floor over there. Just making sure I'm not missing anything over here. This is an automated security update. Get activity has been detected. Please remain at your workstations until the all clear is given. Yeah, well, everyone's dead. Oh, this is creepy. Welcome. Today's lunch special is I was waiting for you guys. Oh, look at that. Through the railing. Heavy fire imminent. Just looking to help. Dang. That was a good shot. God. Enemy down. Oh, 
There's more? Holy crap. Can they come out that way? Yeah. Why are they glowing green? It's so strange. Is there more? There is more. Have to remember to blink. <laughs> oh, I'm out of ammo. All right, let's go with this. Uh, this is our first time using this. What is it called again? Black something? Hand cannon. That's not it, is it? Big bada boom. Oh. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. This thing's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Just shooting like a big ball of mass relay energy. Holy crap. And then it explodes and detonates after. That's pretty cool. All right. We took the medical stuff or the credits. I think we robbed this cafeteria. <laughs> Let's take this medicals. What's this? Power cells. Let's go. There's more out here. Okay. No. <laughs> These guys are such chonky guys. Look at his health. He's barely doing anything to him. Okay, I think he's down. There's one more guy hiding over here. He's dead. All right, let me just make sure there's no more ammo back here that I didn't miss picking up. Okay. Check over here for ammo too. No more. Okay. I hear them. Oh, here he is. On our right. Disabling the gap. Okay. Nice. Let's go. That was fun. Wow. That. Uh. Whatever this. That one gun is called is absolutely crazy. Black Storm Singularity Projector. Creates a black hole that sucks in enemies without resistance. I thought it was like a mass effect type thing. It creates a literal black hole. That's wild. <laughs> oh, crap. I feel like it was kind of overkill. All right, so we can go in this door over here. I'm not exactly sure where we should be going. That way? Okay, so let me go loot this area real quick. Got some ammo. I don't know what's up here, but we'll see. He's watching us. Got a wall safe in here. Some creds, nice. And Archer's log. Demo to all project personnel. Congratulations on your hard work. Tomorrow we make the next leap forward. It'll be a great day for Cerberus and an even greater day for humanity. I wonder what they were trying to accomplish here with the Geth. Maybe some sort of like trying to figure out how they can be ended and put a stop to. I can't imagine them doing anything else. I mean, obviously it was a poor decision to try and figure out Geth stuff. I don't know. Like, I understand why they're 
doing research and stuff on the geth but keeping live geth to do studies on is just i mean look at what happened here to all these people it's the ongoing dilemma with cerberus Well, this is morbid. Oh, I hate this. Why is fancy music playing? It's creepy. Oh, and like the out of tune piano. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right, let's use the train. Uh oh. Uh oh. Seems bad. Those birds scared me. On our way. Oh! Do the trick. What do you think was gonna happen? Like, I feel bad for these people. And yes, I am like beginning to, ooh, look how cool that looks. Beginning to understand why Cerberus does what they do. But at the same time, like, what did you expect? That's why what Cerberus is doing is so experimental and looked down upon by so many people because of stuff like this happening. It makes complete sense. Attention. Satellite broadcast window is opening soon. All upload data must be approved by your department supervisor. Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. me we're just given ammo right off the bat seems bad <laughs> hello oh! All right, let's take out our uh, our black hole maker. <laughs> Incoming. Black hole, son. Won't you come? Okay. We're alive. We're alive. All right, there's more guys down over there. Holy crap. Okay, see you. Oh, grenade. Ooh! Oh, 
Okay. Let's go, guys. Good job. He's still alive. Okay, he's dead. Heavy fire imminent. All right, there's some like across from us now. Who the heck is that guy? Where'd he go? Oh, he's a big chonkers. How do I get it to go? Go, go! There we go. Hopefully that destroys him. I don't know if it will, though. Oh, he took its shields off. Let's go. One of our squad members down. Oh god, I gotta wait for a cooldown. Alright, let's try to get this dude. Alright, can I let her back up? Let's go. There's another dude over here. Oh, I forgot to reload. No more ammo in this gun. The music stopped though, so that's good. Okay, can I bolt this? I want to go see if this dude dropped any ammo. He was so chonky. He didn't drop anything. <laughs> he might have dropped that ammo, actually. What is that ammo for? My pistol? Because I think the red one. Satellite broadcast window is opening soon. I think the All red. Upload data must be approved by your department supervisor. Red ones are our sniper. There's more ammo. Okay. All right, let's get up the stairs. I think that's where we're supposed to go. That was crazy. Destroy the capacitors. Okay. Where are these capacitors? Is this one? Strut console exposed. Okay. Heavy weapons. Oh, boom, bada boom. Where is that coming from? Oh, okay. Run, 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 run. He's down. I think there's people behind us as well. Okay, they're down. There are more people on this side. Okay, let's try to get to this next capacitor or whatever it's called. Is it called a capacitor? Oh, yeah, it's a capacitor. Overload deployed. All right, I'm going to switch to this one and blow this thing up. Is there more? Nope. Okay. 
How many more capacitors are there? Maybe two? Looks like there's two. All right, so I think my plan for this one is I'm gonna open this console and run across to over here. then maybe there'll be more like on the other side and then I can hit them as they go over there. Nope, they're done coming this way. Okay. You've done it. You've severed the link to the satellite. Are we gonna be okay? <gasps> Holy crap. Are you kidding? Oh. Okay, they're both with me. Holy crap. Over here. The hell's going on around here? Right? Man's reach exceeding his grasp. Come on, I'll explain. That was intense. Holy crap. All right, we did it. Transmission disk destroyed, surviving scientists located. So is he gonna tell us about what happened? You have my thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. Who are you? Who did you say you were? Dr. Gavin Archer chief scientist at this facility and probably the only one left you owe us that explanation this is project overlord an attempt to gain influence over the geth by interfacing a human mind with a vi the results have been less than satisfactory yeah that's putting it very mildly your entire everyone here is killed I hate to see what you call a disaster. Yeah. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed, at least partially. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off world. What were the consequences? What's the worst case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Oh my god. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extra net, who knows where it would end. Jeez. How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. Weren't there, yeah, some sort of safety protocols put in place? You're messing with VI stuff. Like, there should be stops involved. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David, the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. <sighs> Aww. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. Manually override? How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. And what happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. What happens on this station? This is Hermes Station, our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. Jeez. Yeah, you already told us about that. Tell me about Vulcan and Prometheus stations. 
Vulcan Station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you've never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy be then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. It's true. It's definitely true. That's why I think people are so quick to dismiss Cerberus because they have done a lot of really bad things in the in the past with the human experimentation, the experimentations on the Rachni, and all of the other stuff that they have done and are a part of, but they're doing it for the better of the of humanity and I'm starting to kind of turn a page in my mind and realize what Cerberus is actually doing and realizing that their research is necessary. Without it, the world would be lost. Without it, humanity could be lost because we know that the Alliance isn't going to work on uh, getting people to safety or working on these experiments that are a little bit taboo but could give a really good end result. It's it's interesting. I'm kind of starting to see why Cerberus is doing what they're doing, but I'm not going to trust them as far as I can throw them. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. Interesting. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. Yeah, if it would have worked out. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. His poor brother. Hopefully we can save him. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. Driving distance. We get to drive? All right, let's look around here for a second before we leave. Maybe there's something over here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So, are we driving there, like, in this thing? I thought we actually got to drive. Oh, we do. We need to find Vulcan and Prometheus stations and override the lockdown from each facility. Oh. Doesn't matter which one you hit first, but you can't enter Atlas Station until you've dealt with both. Also, keep an eye out for Cerberus security mechs. The VI has likely taken control of them. Archer out. Okay. We're driving. We have a little hover hovercraft. This is kind of cool. Do we get a map? No. No mini map. All right, so we're headed this way. It's kind of showing us where to go. This is really cool. <gasps> Look at the little like kangaroo thing. They're so interesting looking. They have like two arms, but also four legs. They're not at all bothered that we're here. Is that our fuel on the side? Geographic conditions indicate an aesthetically pleasing view nearby. Organic life forms may wish to take note. The M44 said that? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at the river that you can see. <gasps> this is really cool. Am I able to just like go over this? We're about to find out. That's a no. Initiating emergency reset. 
Okay. So we have to go around. I'm a little bit nervous about this, like... Oh. I don't think we got our license for this thing. I'm a little bit nervous about it counting down. I think that's like fuel usage or something like that. I'm not really sure what that is. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at the waterfall. <gasps> and the moons that are just like, oh, this is really cool. Can we look down there? <gasps> look at how awesome that looks. Oh, it's beautiful. I think it's telling us how many meters we are away. Yeah, I think it's showing us meters away. Proximity to Vulcan Station. Okay. I was like weirded out that it was like gas or something. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, look at the mountains in the distance. Press F to transition to Vulcan Station. Okay. So yeah, we can't just like get out. the lava oh, this looks so cool I'm going the right way. Did which way do I go? Like, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to do. Um, all right, nice. I wonder what was back the other way. I think it was that. missing out on scanning some stuff back there but that's okay okay so let's see <gasps> it like goes away once you land on it okay made it here's another steam vent
inadequate. So how do we get in? All right, so we're allowed to exit now. Okay, that was interesting. Warning. There was very different compared All to the Mako. Okay, core systems have been compromised. Okay. It's very gethy in here. all of them okay anything over here no and get this manually controlled. Okay, so we got to use that vent most likely to get up. creepy I hate everything about that <gasps> it's so creepy oh this area is pretty cool if it wasn't like you know being taken over by VI and a planet where things are definitely gonna not be here any longer <laughs> in two decades it's a pretty cool place nonetheless Okay, so I'm guessing we have to get back onto our ship. And that one like box looking thing on the way out was is now operable. Yeah, this thing. Okay, there we go. What's that? Mining is so weird. Like, it's cool that you can do that, but it's such a weird, like, <laughs> interaction. <laughs> it's very different. <gasps> All right, so we got to cross again. Where are we crossing to is the question. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. like leapfrogging on rocks right now in lava <laughs> okay we made it there's a port thingy here which i'm assuming we can go up but there's also a way to cross again where does our map tell us to go it doesn't tell us anything okay well let's go this way this looks like the better option There's some mining up here. Not 
not the most satisfying sound I've ever heard in a game, also. It's a little bit, like, irritating. Just a little bit. I'm assuming that we need to go over that way. Right? they go that was weird I thought there were two of them yeah like where'd this guy go did I bug them out okay we're not supposed to go that way yeah I think I'm like following this like the tubes maybe And trying to get over there. That looks likely. Hope I'm going the right way. Hello? Okay. So we're back inside. Okay. Here. Guns. Pressure levels in valve D four have exceeded maximum threshold. Manual control is required. Explosive container. Okay. Can I bolt this? No. All right, I think we have to go down this way. D4 bypass control. Okay. I just leave now? No one told me anything. What happens if I explode this? Friendly fire! Ah, okay. It blew the thing off there. Nice, okay. Yeah. Like, judging by the music, I think there's more. Oh, there's turrets. Oh, God. They can shoot through this? That doesn't seem fair. What is shooting me up there? Kill that one. Kill that one. Kill that one. Studios, guys. All right. Is there some sort of like override button over here? I don't see anything. 
All right, let's keep going up. Hmm. Can I go up this way? Wasn't I just up here? Maybe not. Wall safe. Okay. Research log. He's pissed. Now I can't access it? <laughs> Jeez. All right, what's up here? I think we came from this way. This ammo. I don't think I can get up over that way. All right, so let's go back this way. I kind of miss like having a mini map. I know it's not like that big of a deal, but I just miss having some sort of like mini map that's not just like your objective is to go this way. <laughs> it does make you feel more immersed in the game though. That's for sure. I definitely feel more immersed. Okay. They've seen us. <clears throat> Just the thing to help. Oh, big mama. Oh, my God. Okay. 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 Okay, hopefully that holds him off for a second, maybe? Oh my god. Okay. I don't know what to do. Okay, hopefully that kind of takes care of him better. I think I missed on the first one. Oh, big barabo! <laughs> He's still alive. Like, still very much alive. Holy crap. Okay, he's down. Dang. That was insane. Is everyone okay? Holy crap. Okay. Those are big chonkers. Good thing we had that black hole gun. Oh, I think I forgot to blink during that entire thing. All right, is there anything up here besides just ammo? I don't think so. So let's go in this door that the chonkers came out of. <laughs> he was chilling in here. Found something good. What is that? Why is he? What the heck? What was the point of that? Are you receiving this? Commander Shepard, this is Dr. Archer. Please respond. I hear you, Doctor. We've hit the override at Vulcan Station and are moving on. I don't wanna... Okay. Yeah, I didn't wanna do the Renegade one. It popped up, but I didn't do it. Shepard out. <laughs> Morgan took care of it for us. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so now we're going to the other one. Successfully issued override commands from Vulcan Station. Nice. Okay, this is kind of a long, like, side quest. Wow, this is pretty cool, though. There's a lot to do in here. So the Prometheus station. Now I know what to do with this. Interesting. Okay, cool. So that was actually pretty important. Oh, damn. M44 like talks to us and tells us what we would like and what's beautiful and he's definitely right. Look at this waterfall. It's very nice. Alright, over this way I think is where it's pointing me. Possibly. Looks like there's some building up here. Hopefully this one is less full of lava. <laughs> Enemy. Oh. Are we dying? Seems bad. You okay? Okay, I think we're fine now. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's beeping again. Okay, I think we're better now. <laughs> There's no like health bar on this thing. I don't know what's happening. Let's go. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Go over this way, maybe? It was pointing me this way. I'm not sure why. Towards the waterfall? For real? No, this isn't right. Man, I miss our minimap. I really, really, really miss our minimap. Like, the arrow system just ain't it. <laughs> it just ain't it. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way, like, for real, or... Okay, so the distance is getting shorter this way. Even though it did look for sure like the arrow was pointing me over there. Now it's pointing me this way. Okay. You need minimap. You can't just get rid of a minimap in a game. That's silly. It was laid out perfectly in Mass Effect 1. They didn't have to change it. <laughs> no notes. No notes. Okay. What is that? Looks bad, whatever it is. Okay.
Commander Shepard, Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines used in our experiment. Our people there have gone silent. It's likely the VI has activated the defense shields to keep you out. Good luck. <laughs> Always being cut off. <laughs> okay, a crashed Geth ship. Look at this thing. Look at the biome. <gasps> Look at this. Whoa. Okay, we have to go down. We have to go down. Scanning area. Analysis. Generators are providing power for main shield. Warning. The VI infection has assumed control of the Geth cannon. Where is the Geth cannon? Warning. We are being targeted. Oh, we probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay. Oh god. What did I start? Maybe I shouldn't have done this. <gasps> oh god. Okay, we should not mess with this thing. We should not mess with it. <laughs> Let's go with the stealth approach like we originally kind of were doing. No kidding. So what am I supposed to do? I couldn't go that way. It wouldn't let me do it anymore. It wouldn't let me go any further. Analysis. Generators are providing power for main shield. Okay, so destroy the Geth generators. How? Warning. The VI infection has assumed control of the Geth cannon. Yep, we're being targeted again. Big bada boom. Maybe I have it destroy itself. Warning, we are being targeted. Did that hurt it? Okay, let's go. So let's go back over this way. Okay, and then run. Okay. Okay. No. This is so scary. Okay, I'm just gonna keep running from it and trying to get it to destroy its own shields. Target me over here. Warning, Geth cannon is locking on our location. Okay, and then target me over here. Recommend evasive maneuvers. So crazy. Okay, target me over here. <laughs> How am I gonna get it to target itself? Oh god. Oh no! Analysis. Generators are providing power for main shield. Warning, the VI infection has a Power for main spear. Okay. I'm on fire? Why am I on fire? I don't know why I'm on fire. Okay, so target me here, and then we'll just run faster. Recommend evasive maneuvers. Okay, it's working, kind of. I wasn't going fast last time, I don't think. Warning, we are being targeted. Here, target me back over here. Okay, and then over here, and then I'm gonna shoot that other one. Get out, get out. I think only it can destroy itself, which seems silly, but... Oh, no, 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 it was actually destroying it. I think we're hidden from view right now. All right, let's try to get over here then. Warning, Geth cannon is locking on our location. All right, and then we'll try to get this one over here. That one broke its shell, which is nice. I don't know how to get it to like target itself though. 
Maybe once... Maybe once we get all of these offline, it will... Yeah, because it's a shield generator. Okay. Alright, so the last one. That one should be down. Yeah, it's exploded. Okay. Go, 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 go! Let's go. That was intense. Entry into the ship is now clear. Holy crap, that was crazy. Nice. <laughs> okay. Refined platinum. Let's go. Alright, let's get inside. I feel like this is this has to be like a DLC that I've accidentally happened upon because this side mission is nuts it's actually really cool though <gasps> oh Lee this looks bad <gasps> why is he in an acorn now we just got word Atlas station wants a dozen more gas for the experiment and I hope this means a breakthrough is close no All right, so what do we do? I'm gonna have to fight that thing, aren't I? Look at this place. Hanging around all these dormant machines is creepy. It's like dead staring at us from the shadows. I'd rather work at Vulcan Station. To be very honest, I would not want to work here either. Not after everything that happened. God, this is so creepy. I like actually hate every part of this. He's following us. He's looking at us. This place is so creepy. I hate everything about this right now. Why are there so many jump scares? Flanagan just ran a simulation. If these kids ever wake up, there's a 98% chance we'll be dead within two minutes. I'm starting to hate Flanagan. door close oh my god this is so creepy Halloween was yesterday Flanagan ran around wearing spare get parts oh my god the shit out of everyone now I definitely hate him <laughs> uh, okay he's sending us to a certain area So creepy. Everything's off wire. Archer declared a lockdown, but the station's already infected. What does the VI want? It keeps screaming at us. Nobody understands. Am I supposed to go this way? There was a door behind me. Look at all these geth here. I would hate working here. Oh, it's so creepy in here. Why is this here? Okay, is that the door that we came in? I think... Wait, what door did we come through? Did we... <laughs> What is up with this mission? 
I can't remember which way I came because I'm so scared. I don't think we came in this way. Maybe we did. The VI is closing some passages and leaving others open. It's, it's like it's hurting us. Yes. So creepy. It is like it's hurting us for sure. Oh my god, this is so creepy. In an effort to reduce workplace stress, music has been approved for station wide broadcast. No. Are you serious right now? Can we turn that off? This must be the main area. Analysis. The objective is located on the far side of this impasse. Okay, so there's some sort of weird control panel in here. Can I get over there? <gasps> look at the dead person. Okay, let me take a look again. Yeah, move floor panel. Okay. So let's see. Move floor down, horizontal, left, up, right, down, horizontal cycle. What does that mean? Okay, so it's cycling the platforms. So, let me see. Where do we have to get to? Which floor pieces move? Let me just try to move this one up. I don't think that did anything. I don't see anything moving. Oh, that one moved. Okay, okay, okay. I see it now. Okay. So let's move that one there. Let's move this one up and then over and then that way. And then let's move this chonky one also over. And then we should be able to get that med panel and the other stuff over here. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think we're supposed to go up there. Meds. Credits. Power cells. Nice. Okay. And then we have to somehow get it to go over to the other side. This music, I swear. When did Mass Effect become a horror game? All right, so since that one's free, let's see if we can move it right and then up. Like all the way up and then move that piece to the right or to the left. Yeah, and we'll see, we should be able to get across now. I am like very freaked out right now. <laughs> I hate this. Yeah, I knew it was too. There's no shot that we're gonna get out of this with just a couple of on, buttons. Go. All right. Where are they coming from? Where are they? Where am I 
supposed to go right now? Okay. I'm just trying to leave, I guess. God. over here. That was scary. Ooh. There's more up top too. Okay, I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Are they okay? Why are they down there? What's that noise? Oh, he's got a flamethrower. Okay. So we're done. The gathered are gone heck is going on <laughs> i don't really know where i'm supposed to go or what i'm doing i'm just kind of like doing it oh dang Ooh! oh okay incoming supposed to go or if we're supposed to go this way i think it wants us to go this way yeah this way okay equipment okay do we salvage it from over here <laughs> that was wild okay all right let's go in this door i think it's supposed to feel like you're in a maze because when the get when the ai was like or the vi sorry was turning off all of the different areas it was like leading us to one place 
very interesting. So the main chonkers is out now. That was the main guy that was out here. He's alive. Oh jeez. That guy's dead. He's also down. Where are my teammates? Did they get left behind? Where is everyone? They're not dead, are they? Yeah, I don't know where they are. I can't find them. I think I just have to fight this dude by myself. <laughs> Seems bad. All right, we got some more sniper ammo. Yeah, I don't really know where they are. They're just not here. He's almost down. We could use our black hole on him. His health is almost down. Where's the combat drone? I think I should use my my black hole on this guy. Let's see if it works. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Big bada boom. Is he down? I don't see him. Where is he? All right, there's my squad mates. I wonder if maybe they died and I just wasn't able to revive them yet. I'm not sure where they went or why they were maybe like stuck in an area. All right, he's down. Oh, look, it's him. Oh, no, no, no. That's the other guy that came in here. All right, so where does it want us to go now? Just leave. intense complete mission okay that was crazy successfully issued override commands from prometheus station nice This was a really crazy side mission. This has to be like a DLC that I just happened upon by accident, which is precisely what I was trying to stay away from was the DLCs. And here we are doing it today, but that's okay. I don't think it really... Commander, you've done it. The lockdown has been canceled. You can now breach Atlas Station and end this nightmare. Okay, You'll so... the main server room there to shut down the VI experiment. Okay. Main server room on the Atlas Station. Yeah, this had to have been like some sort of DLC that I accidentally got myself into because this is wildly longer than any sort of side quest I have ever seen. So that was my bad. <laughs> just kidding. It's actually pretty fun. I'm glad that we were able to do it, but I just hope that we didn't do it too soon. But it is what it is. 
Okay, so over here. We've already been here before. So this is where we fight the good fight, probably. We've been doing pretty good with Miranda and Morden. It's been it's been tough, but I think we're doing well. Archer beats himself up at all for thinking that his brother could handle this and put him straight into the crossfire. What? <gasps> oh my god. He's just messing with me. Yeah, he's totally messing with me. This is creepy. Oh my god, I hate everything about this. Why does it have to be scary? Stop. It's getting progressively creepier. He's giving me signs that he did not want to be part of this experimentation. I think he's pissed that his brother did that to him. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. I think his brother, I think he's upset with his brother. Arriving at level two. This is creepy. Resetting elevator. Resetting elevator. Arriving at level two. Arriving at level four. Arriving at level six. System malfunction. Summon to seventh floor. And I can restart it over here. Begin decomposition simulation. Resetting elevator. So let me see. Arriving at level two. Two. Arriving at level four. Four. Arriving at level six. Six. Can I set it to one? Arriving at level three. Six to three. Arriving at level five. Arriving at level seven. Okay. I don't want to get on that elevator. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, okay. 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 It's happening. It's happening. God, reload. Do I have any big... Okay, we got this big chunkers. We gotta do it. We're probably gonna die doing it, but we're gonna do it. <gasps> okay! Okay! No! Okay, I thought I, di I thought I died. Run, 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 run! Run, run! I don't know what just happened down there, but it seemed bad. 
Let's go put them down. Is it still alive? Okay, let's get uh let's get Morden back up. Wait, where's Morden? Why can't I see him? Okay, he's over there. Holy crap, that was crazy. I don't want to get on this elevator. Oh my god, this is my worst nightmare. This is my worst nightmare. Can we leave? I hate this. Oh. oh my gosh. No, you should not have hooked up your autistic brother to a geth machine. Are you nuts? What were you thinking? So his brother was autistic and he was like, oh, maybe that gives him an in with the geth. What is wrong with him? This poor guy. Oh, this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. Warning. This looks interesting. Decelerator offline. Serious so getting injury you. Let's go. Occur. Be surprised if this button summons a reaper right oh my hands are sweaty i'm like nervous <gasps> i actually don't enjoy Escape the virtual environment by destroying the rogue. Um, are my eyes like green? I don't think I can look at my eyes. I feel kind of bad for him. Like I actually feel legitimately bad for him. I don't have any shields in this world. creepy I hate everything about this square root of 9.1 is 30.1 square root of 912.04 is 30.2 time on this project is running out there are no options left how to get the guests attention look at David says hello. Eureka, David. You're a miracle worker. <laughs> Square root of 906.01 is 30.1. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. David, can you repeat my notes from Thursday's experiment? Square root of 918.09 is 30.3. David, please... Pay attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Would you mind 
Repeating my notes from Thursday's experiment. Log 137.3. The experiment yielded no discernible patterns of geth obedience. End dictation now, David. Hell, the elusive man will have my head for this. Thank you. And how are you feeling today? Square root of 924.16 is 30.4. Earplugs will be good. This is so sad. I hate every part of this. And he's sharing it with us because he feels like he has to. Oh, this is awful. I feel so bad for him. step forward. How does he do it? David is a mathematical savant. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their phonetics. With his photographic memory cross-referencing the meaning as a snap, he's literally a human computer. And you think he can interface with the Geth's neural network? I do. Is that even safe, Doctor? No. I see no harm in finding out. This is awful. I feel so bad for him. Poor David. How did he think that it was okay? Like, I under, I guess from like a science perspective, sure, I don't know, but like your autistic brother is not here to do your mathematical beckoning. Like, I just, I don't even understand how he thought that that was okay. Where am I supposed to go? Back this way? I don't think I can get in here. Am I missing a doorway? Can I hop over this? Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. If I shoot at them, are they gonna hurt me? wants to get out of the simulation okay so the shield Let's try to break them I'm not missing anything important. Hardware. Everything looks the same when we're in this like crazy weird alternate dimension. Warning. Elevator exceeds maximum weight capacity. Is it this elevator? What's happening? Weight limit. Oh no. 
Upload in progress. How do I make it stop? Okay, there we go. What's happening? Uh, I see. Okay. I hope that I don't have to kill him, but it kind of seems like I might. All right, where's the next one? Should be like a... Do that again because that worked out well last time oh no i can't switch until okay there we go okay and then back to this gun because i have so much ammo in it So bad for him. I have a really bad feeling this is gonna murder him. All right. up some of this ammo. Let's go. Heavy ammo upgrade. back online i'm actually gonna use this um all right destroy that okay let's use this one and hope that it does something no whammies oh god okay i don't know what's happening now <gasps> I'm gonna go around and pick up that heavy ammo though. Thank <laughs> you. 
was a really, really cool boss fight. Ooh, oh, oh, I hate that noise. No, no, no. I absolutely hate that noise. <gasps> oh my God. God. Wait, Commander. Oh my God. I'm begging you. Don't do anything rash. This is an atrocity. Rash? Like forcing your own brother into an experiment? I know how this must look, but I never intended any oh harm to God. come to you. You must believe me. Oh, you never intended like any this. harm? It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. Until people started dying? Until this happened to him? And before you knew it, you were running your own private hell. What the I had no choice. The demands were incredible. The elusive man doesn't broker failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. At what cost? Who gave you the right to play God? people who are too afraid to make difficult decisions themselves when they pray for a miracle they're really praying for men like me to make the tough choices no if my work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons my conscience will rest easy you made him suffer look at what you've done to your brother look at him your brother would never be the same the damage may not be permanent. Oh my god. He might recover some semblance of his mind. <sighs> Cerberus will exploit him. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. Better well cared for, lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. How is he like still pumping like I'm not wrong into this right now? So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. Take care of him. Are you kidding me? Please make it stop. No, David's coming with me. Hell no, you're not taking care of him. You thought that you loved him before and that you were taking care of him before. No. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! Valuable? Yeah, I'm to making the right decision, you ass. <clears throat> You even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Far away from you. Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Square. 30.2 It all seemed harmless Square root of 912.04 It's 30.2 It all seemed harmless This is so awful terrible mission i mean it was interesting and like all that stuff but wow that was really 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 hard um to watch and see rogue vi was successfully shut down but the test subject was taken to a non-cerberus fa uh, facility for care while this is a considerable setback for cerberus dr archer's research will be instrumental in devising a safer approach to controlling the geth
I was just talking about how like Cerberus does some messed up stuff, but I'm kind of like overlooking it. And I can't blame this on the elusive man and I can't blame this on Cerberus, but he did hire these people. And as much as this was Dr. Archer's fault, and they didn't really understand what was going on and he was desperately looking for answers so he decided upon himself to do all of this it doesn't look good at all for Cerberus it doesn't look good at all for them um it's not really the elusive man's fault at least how I am understanding it and I could be completely wrong but Cerberus the elusive man had no idea what was really going on because in the logs he was just talking about how the elusive man will be upset if I don't come up with something in the next week or so so they came up with this plan and didn't really keep him informed from what I understand but dang this is one of the reasons why I did not like Cerberus in Mass Effect 1 I think it's very crazy that we're a part of them in Mass Effect 2 and stuff like this happens all the time when you give scientists like this the ability to do it because they're working undercover there's no red tape for them they're being funded the ability to put their autistic brother into a geth machine and they're like oh it's fine the elusive man will give me a pat on the back for doing this and that is one of the main reasons why i do not trust cerberus as far as i can throw them because while they are trying to do things to stop humanity, as Dr. Archer put it, I'm trying to do this so that a million mothers won't have to be without a million sons. There was another way that could have gone. There was another way you could have gone around everything that you did to your brother. It's absolutely disgusting to be like, no, nothing bad will come from him knowing what kind of machine he was going to be put into and knowing that he wasn't really at the mental capacity to be put into that type of equipment with I'm like getting emotional <laughs> that was really hard to watch that was really that was really hard to watch I'm glad that we took him away from him wow I'm going to go talk Commander, to Miranda. You received a new message at your private terminal. I want to go see what she has to say. Oh, look, it's from the elusive man. Shepard, I understand you've taken Dr. Archer's brother to Grissom Academy. I'm familiar with their work. It should be a good home for him. I don't condone Dr. Archer's actions, but they did provide a breakthrough we've been sorely lacking thus far. That sentence right there is the reason why I just said everything that I just said. I don't condone Dr. Archer's actions, good for you, but there shouldn't be a but after that. I don't condone Dr. Archer's actions should have been where he left it. <sighs> we'll likely never find another individual with David's unique talents. You're gonna have to find another way. Though your decision is understandable, it has set our efforts to understand the Geth back several years. Go screw yourself. Very kindly, go screw yourself. He doesn't need to be put through lab rat activities just because you decided that his mind is capable of doing that. And you're going to put him through everything that he went... Oh my gosh. That just made me hate him a little bit. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not now. Working on collector data. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus. Unless it's very intelligent. And toying with me. Hmm. Tests. Anything else? Oh, that's it. I'll let you work. I wanted we'll to see if he was going to say anything about what we just went through. I'm going to go try to talk to Miranda. Um, and then I think that's about it. Since it was a side quest, I'm guessing not a lot of stuff will be talked about um but i just want to see if miranda has anything to say about what just happened commander what can i do for you do you have a minute miranda there's a lot to do shepherd 
maybe another time. Okay. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. It's upsetting, but I understand. It was just like a side quest, I guess, but I wish that they would say something about what just happened. All right, everyone, that is it for today. What a solemn note to end on. Holy crap. I knew that some of the side quests in this game were going to be a lot more intense, I guess. I was not expecting what we went through today. I'm glad that we did it. I think that it was probably a DLC. I'm going to look it up after I get off today. I think I accidentally did another DLC, but it was it was very interesting and intense and gave us some good XP and some insight into how we feel about Cerberus, how I feel about Cerberus. And maybe I did it too soon. Maybe I swayed my decision too hard about Cerberus, but even after our letter from the elusive man, I it's just not really sitting well with me. It's not sitting well with me at all. And it makes me second guess a lot of the standing up that I've done for Cerberus. I haven't gone head over heels and told everyone, no, Cerberus has changed, blah, blah, blah. I've been a little bit on the like neutral end of the stick when it comes to Cerberus. I understand that they've saved us, that they've given us this really nice ship. They've done all this stuff for us, but some of the things and some of the ways that they approach things are just not the way that I would do them. It makes it really difficult to stand up for a company that has scientists working for them where sure they don't condone their actions but today was very interesting. Today was amazing. Today was all over the place. Left, right, down, up, right, left, center. I don't even know where my mind is right now. I I think that next time we're going to go through the dossier dossier, and find another crew member before we embark on anything else. But I definitely, I hate saying like enjoy today, but I did think it was a very good part of this game that has changed my outlook on some stuff yet again. So I am looking forward to the next time that we jump in, hopefully meeting another squad member before we embark on any other... <laughs> journeys i'm gonna try to stay away from the other dlcs until after i finish the main playthrough because i've read that that is the best thing to do um but if it accidentally happens again it accidentally happens again it's just this is the part of playing a blind playthrough you don't know where where you're gonna go what you're gonna get into you just kind of follow your heart and that's definitely something i've been i've been doing and i'm not regretting regretting my time at all i think i'm just a little bit sadder today because of everything that happened. I hope that you all enjoyed today as much as I did and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye everyone!